Warner high into the end zone, and Steve Preston has wow. another Cardinal touchdown. Wow. Yeah, last Sunday was wow indeed for the Cardinals, both on offense and defense. Mixing well, a little special that teams, that and the Redbirds are showing themselves to be road warriors early in the season. 2-0 and oh so far away from the bird's nest, which hopefully will come in handy in New York today uh, in the game against the Giants. Um, we'll be seeing a lot of exciting action, hopefully. I want to introduce you uh, to Russ, who's here from FantasyFootballStarters.com. Russ Plus, you nailed your predictions last week. You have some good weeks, you have some bad weeks. Last week was just a real good week. <laughs> Let's talk about the injury report. Who's injured this week? Who's well, of out? course, you've got some injuries this week. We'll start off with the Arizona Cardinals and wide receiver Anquan Bolden. Anquan Bolden is questionable with the knee injury, so he looks like as though he is going to be able to play, but how much he plays, he might be on a snap count. So those anticipating Anquan Bolden being normal Anquan, not going to get him normally. Then you've also got Roy Williams, the wide receiver from the Dallas Cowboys. He's probable on the injury report, but he's still suffering from cracked ribs that he suffered three weeks right. ago, and it's still painful. He's going to be on a snap count as well today. Then you've got Kevin Curtis, the wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. He had arthroscopic surgery again on his knees. He's had problems with them all throughout this season. He's out indefinitely. This just solidifies Jeremy Macklin as a starter for Philadelphia. Then you've got Trent Edwards, the quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. He's out with a concussion. Ryan Fitzpatrick will start. And finally, Sammy Morris, the running back for the New England Patriots, was a hot free agent pickup two weeks ago. Sammy Morris not going to play this week. All right, so injuries obviously affecting things. How about bye weeks? Who's off this week? Well, you've got six teams on bye, and that's a lot of teams yeah, to be on bye for this week. You're looking at teams like the Baltimore Ravens are on bye, Denver Broncos, the Jacksonville Jaguars, Seattle Seahawks, the Tennessee Titans, and the Detroit Lions. All six are on bye. None of them are going to play. All right, so looking for some fill-in players, who do you recommend? Well, if you're desperate for, for fill-in players, because with so many teams on by, you might be scrambling to look for somebody. First at quarterback, Chad Henney of the Miami Dolphins. Of all the quarterbacks that are likely to be available on your free agent wire, like Jamarcus Russell, Mark Bolger, Sean Hill, this is the guy that's got the best matchup, and we know that the Miami Dolphins can throw the football effectively like they did two weeks ago against the New York Jets in that Monday night game. They still ran their Wildcat offense, but Chad Henney was also very effective. Then at running back, you're looking at guys like Lawrence Maroney. Maroney stepped in when Sammy Morris got injured last week, and he had a very good game against the Tennessee Titans. Titans had a very good run defense going into that game. We saw they got lit up through the air. Even in the snow, Even Russ. in the snow. Yeah, I watched that game, and I'm like, that wow. Look incredible. at the snow. The next day it was about 70 <laughs> degrees, by the way. Yeah, but Maroney has got a great matchup this week against Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers were lit up last week by the Carolina Panthers. They're one of the bottom three run defenses in the NFL. You've also got guys like Jonathan Stewart of Carolina. He gets a great matchup this week taking on the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo is dead last in the NFL in rushing yards allowed, giving up nearly 183 yards per game. Wow. So that's a great matchup for, uh, for Jonathan Stewart. If he's available on your free agent wire, you can pick him up and plug him in with a fair amount of confidence. And also Donald Brown, the running back for the Indianapolis Colts. Donald Brown plays second fiddle to Joseph Adai in Indianapolis, but he's a guy that's been getting a lot of carries. They get pretty much an even split, and the Rams, another one of those bottom feeder run defenses. Great pickup for this week in one week play. All right, let's talk about the game tonight. Obviously, the uh, Giants have a pretty explosive offense at times. Eli dealing with that plantar fasciitis or, mm -hmm. or whatever he's got going on. Um, will that affect things for him? And, and what do you think about the Cardinals' chances? Well, I tell you what, the big thing for the Arizona Cardinals is making sure that they follow the blueprint that the New Orleans Saints set up last week and how you attack the New York Giants. The Giants had been undefeated going into that game, and they had the number one ranked pass defense. Then all of a sudden, New Orleans comes in, Drew Brees lights them up for 369 yards and great. four touchdowns. Yep. So the New York Giants were exposed. They've got two injuries in their secondary. They've got Aaron Ross and Kenny Phillips, one of their starting corners and one of their starting safeties, out for this game. So look for the Cardinals to use their big wide receivers, Larry Fitzgerald and Steve Preston and Anquan, if Anquan plays, very effectively against the New York Giants and their pass defense. You know what was interesting? The first few games, I remember a lot of people complaining, what is up with the play calling? Why aren't they getting it to Preston and, and Fitzgerald and more. They were, we were running it a lot, but now it seems like we're back on track. Yeah, it looks like as though the Arizona Cardinals have finally found a good bit of balance for their offense. And one thing also for the Cardinals is that the New York Giants' run defense, not one of the better run defenses mm -hmm. in the NFL. Historically, they're one of the best, but they haven't been this season. I expect Tim Hightower to actually have a pretty good game and probably score a touchdown in this football game for the Cardinals. That'd be great to see. And finally, I hear there's a free viewer or free offer for the viewers. Yes. 
We've got a, a free TV3 viewer offer for FantasyFootballStarters.com. All you got to do is go to our website and register at FantasyFootballStarters.com and then just email me, Russ at FantasyFootballStarters.com. I'll go ahead and I'll get you set up with our Power Player package. That's a $9.95 value, free access to all of our tools, our lineup and trade analyzers, our smart alerts, and everything else that we offer at FantasyFootballStarters.com. All right, can I just ask you a question? Because seriously, I'm listening to you and I feel like I need a flow chart. To, I mean, how do you know... <laughs> I've never understood. There are guys, you know, I watch ESPN a lot, and I mm -hmm. always think, I feel like I know a little bit about sports, but I have no context to put everything in. And you guys seem to remember every player and what they did last week and who they played and what they did three years ago. And <laughs> how much time do you spend going over all those stats? All the time. Really? I, I mean, <laughs> I it do blows it me time, away just yes. how much people seem to know. I can't remember stuff from two weeks ago no. with the Cardinals. Well, I can't a bunch of other games. I can't remember stuff two weeks ago that's not football related. <laughs> as long as it's football related, I'm pretty good. Okay, as long as you remember your wife's anniversary, <laughs> yes. her birthday. Yes. Okay, good. And any kids involved, their birthdays, just make sure you know the big days. Listen, thanks for joining us. We've Thank got you. all the information on our hotline and our website. And go Cardinals. That'll be a great game, I think, today in New York. Yeah. Some good weather, too. The rain, I think, has passed.